Well before construction begins on Australia's future submarine fleet, work will start on another massive naval project, the next generation of anti-submarine frigates. But already there's growing concern inside defence and industry over the push to begin production within three years. Here's defence reporter Andrew Green. War games on the high seas. Exercise Ocean Explorer has just wrapped up off the West Australian coast. This year drawing naval assets from Spain and Italy, here to parade their fighting capabilities for the international battle to win the contract to build Australia's $35 billion future frigates. When it's finished, we'll have the most modern anti-submarine warfare destroyers in the world. The Australian Defence Force is weighing up three options as it seeks to replace its ageing Anzac-class frigates. Spanish shipbuilder Navantia is offering an evolved version of the Hobart-class destroyer. Italy's Fincantieri warship would require some local modifications and England's BAE is proposing a cutting-edge design which is yet to be built. Australia also needs to decide on a combat management system, a choice between Saab's locally developed model or the Aegis system produced by American giant Lockheed Martin. While a final shipbuilder is yet to be selected, work is well underway on Australia's $35 billion future frigate program. The government's determined that steel will be cut here in Adelaide by 2020, even though some in defence are now questioning that time frame as too ambitious. The more mature the design is, the higher the percentage of drawings you have finalised and signed off before you start, the better the outcome is. And I worry a little bit that we're going to have to rush. The minister says he's doing everything to ensure the three-year deadline's met reduce as many of the lead times as possible to give the uh, successful uh, tenderer as much time as possible to prepare to cut steel in 2020. The successful shipbuilders likely to be announced within months. Andrew Green, ABC News, Adelaide.